The last point that I want to say is a pretty basic one that you probably already know, lift weights. But I want to jump into a study that is encouraging around lifting weights. So this study was done in 2009 and it's a meta-analysis. It's long-term effectiveness of diet plus exercise interventions versus diet only interventions for weight loss a meta-analysis. Okay, so I'm going to just read out the abstract to you guys so you can digest it. Diet and exercise are two of the commonest strategies to reduce weight. Whether a diet plus exercise intervention is more effective for weight loss than a diet-only intervention in the long term has not been conclu conclusively established. The objective of this study was to systematically review the effect of diet plus exercise versus diet only on the both long-term and short-term weight loss. Studies were retrieved by la 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 la. Um, studies were included if they were randomized control trials comparing the effect of diet plus exercise interventions versus diet only on weight loss for a minimum of six months among obese or overweight adults. Uh, 18 studies met the inclusion criteria. La, 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 la. We found that the overall standardized mean differences between diet plus exercise and diet only interventions at the end follow up were minus 0 0.25. Um, la, 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 la. Because there were two outcome measurements weight and body mass index. We also stratified the results by weight and BMI outcome. Okay. The pulled weight loss was 1.14 kg or 0 0.5 kg greater for the diet plus exercise group than the diet only group. Okay, so the average was, you know, 1.1 kg um, for diet plus exercise and diet only was 0 0.5, so half a kilo. We did not detect significant uh, heterogeneity in either stratum. Even in studies lasting two years or longer, diet plus exercise interventions provide significantly greater weight loss than diet only interventions. In a summary, a combined diet plus exercise program provided greater longer term weight loss than a diet only program. However, both diet only and diet plus exercise programs uh, are associated with partial weight regain and future studies should explore better strategies to limit weight regain and achieve greater long-term weight loss. Okay. So ultimately, diet plus exercise like if you like if you look at it like this if you're just doing diet and you're trying to lose fat you have like one thing to utilize and that's eating less eating less calories which is how you would lose weight if you're not losing weight already if you eat less calories so you're already doing the diet and then you add an exercise which is burning more calories that's going to help you create a larger deficit so this is kind of like the simple way of looking at it but then within that exercise we are looking at uh, awesome things like weight training to help preserve muscle mass. And um, like even interval training can help kind of prevent muscle mass as well. So there's another study that I want to just quickly read. Um, it's a uh, meta-analysis. Once again, uh, diet exercise or diet with exercise comparing the um oh sorry diet exercise or diet with exercise comparing the effectiveness of treatment options for weight loss and changes in fitness for adults 18 to 65 years old who are overfat obese systematic review meta-analysis oh yeah i don't want to read everything out like i have been doing um but let me just kind of like get to the nitty-gritty of it um Okay. Where should we go from? Uh, first, hypercaloric balance is necessary for changing body composition. So creating a calorie deficit, for changing the way your body looks, but the com compositional changes like how much fat and how much muscle you have or any biomarkers associated with metabolic issues with analysis showing that there is a necessity to include exercise in combination with diet effectively elicit changes in body composition and biomarkers of metabolic issues. More importantly, the combination resistance training okay, and dieting was more effective than endurance training or combination of resistance training 
and endurance training, particularly when progressive training volume of two to three sets for six to 10 reps at an intensity of um, 75% of uh, one rep max uh, or higher, utilizing whole body and free weight exercises at altering body compositional measures and reducing total cholesterol, triglycerides, and low density lipoproteins. So ultimately what they're saying is like dieting and resistance training was the best outcome. Additionally, resist resistance training was more effective at reducing fasting insulin levels uh, than endurance training or endurance training and resistance training. Even though generally lower effect, effect size than resistance training, the inclusion of endurance training was more effective. So like resistance training ultimately won, but the inclusion of uh, endurance training was more effective when it was performed at a high intensity. Uh, example, uh, something greater than 70% of your VO2 max or in an interval training style when utilizing the relatively common prescribed method of low to moderate steady state method. Um yeah, cool. Uh, thus indicating that focus of treatment should be on producing a large metabolic stress uh, as induced by resistance training or high levels of endurance training rather than an energetic imbalance for adults who are over fat. Okay, so ultimately what we're looking at here is some evidence that's showing that lifting weights and exercise, sorry, lifting weights and dieting is the most effective way to sustain weight loss and uh, prevent maybe not prevent weight regain, but kind of weight management to maintain weight. Um, but then they were also saying, if you want favorable compositional changes, changing your body composition, resistance training is going to help that. And ultimately that's because if you're lifting weights and in a calorie deficit, you're going to give your muscles a stimulus to stick around and a reason for your body fat to leave. 